the NBA, you're giving back to the game, you're giving back to the city, globalizing the game. What's in? What is the team getting out of it? I mean, talk about the bonding that a team, uh, that a process like this can bring I, together. I think you can get a lot of things. It's also a, a challenging trip because you are, in, you know, usually all these things about, uh, like you said, which is true, giving back and growing the game and and exposing the, the NBA to people that don't have the chance to see often. Those are great things, but they usually be done on the off season or the preseason, where where you can really. Uh, take a couple days off, you know, not focus as much and, and do all these things that keep your mind a little bit away from the game. Um, so you do all those things and they were a little bit better. In this particular case, it's a little bit challenging because we are in the middle of the season and this game counts and it could be the difference between making the playoffs or not or home court advantage or not. Mm -hmm. um, so, at the same time, we're doing all these things, and we gotta keep in mind in the back of our heads for these four days that we still got a game to play, and it counts, and it's for real, and it's not gonna be easy, and we really need the win. So, it's it's uh, on one a very good thing for the team bonding, for the team experience, for uh, the fans, and for the game, and on the other hand, a challenge for us to continue to build a league this season. Is the timing of it good or is there a good timing for this in the middle of the season? I think this has to be done, you know, we had to do those, these things and the game has to grow in the way the NBA wanted want to grow, So, the, it, but there is not going to be a time, a good timing yeah. for it. You can put it early, you can put it late, you can put it in the middle, it's just not going to be a perfect timing. So you just, this, this is the kind of thing that you just got to go out and do it because uh, it needs to be done. To, to, as a matter of fact, to my view, I think this should be even bigger because we come in here and we play one game in one week, and it's great. But uh, we're just making an impact on 20,000 people that came to today's game. And it's just two teams, and it's just one week. But if we, if we come here with four or five teams and we play instead of one game, we play three or four, and maybe we do it in three or four different cities, then we here for 10 or 12 days, but we play three or four games. Mm -hmm. So we're using the time more wisely. The fact that we had to play one game in one week. Uh, it's making us playing a lot of consecutive game before and after this game. And like I said, it's only one game we're playing here. The other way, there could be multiple games, and we're using the the, the time better, mm -hmm. and uh, and we're growing the game more, which is what we want. Like I said, I think this needs to be done, and we all for it. Um, hopefully, in the future, we can see more and more and more time effectively. Do you think that for European fans, that basketball is still is it a novelty sport or do you think it can ever challenge something like football, which is religion? I believe that anything can be challenged and uh, obviously uh, football is huge, soccer uh, is huge, uh, but uh, things change along, along the years and you just, you just, you, and also you don't need, you don't need to um, get rid of soccer for basketball to, to, to have a space in Euro, European fans, you know, this, uh, there's room for a lot of sports and there's a lot of sharing you can do and fans could be fans of multiple sports at the same time. There has, there hasn't, this hasn't has to be a one or the other. So I do believe that there's a lot of growing the game can do here. I think the NBA is really big in Europe and like I said, I think it's a great thing that we're coming here and we have to do it more and more. I think it's important and I think eventually it's going to have a lot of benefits in, in, in more fans in Europe. People like it here.